What's going on everybody and welcome to this week's video. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today in this video what I'm going to be showing you guys is it's actually one of my favorite haircuts to do at the moment. It is a texture top kind of like the um, I don't know if you guys remember that Zayn Malik guy. It's going to be styled kind of like that with the nice fade on the side. But getting straight into it, I'm not going to be working on the top first, but I do want to section out his hair. That way, once I go in to do the fade, I'm not cutting any of the length that I don't want to cut on top. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning out his hair. I, I would say about the corner of his lineup, and that's kind of where his head starts to naturally round out. So that would be the perfect spot to go ahead and part it. And I'm going to be doing this throughout his entire top. just what it looks like when I parted it out. So the clipper I'm going to be using for his fade is the cordless magic clips and here I'm starting off with the number two guard with the lever all the way open and this is basically just going to be to remove all the bulk that I have right there on the side and as you guys can see I am using the comb to kind of help me out and that's just to, to help me uh, chop off all of the length uh, once I get to the top. Now with this number two, once I get to the back, I wanna make sure that I'm staying underneath where his occipital bone is, cause that's kinda where I want the fade to kinda end up. Now I don't know about you guys, but I hate when there's long hairs on the side right there because I, I don't know, it just really distracts me. So I always like to go in and kind of clipper over comb them uh, just to make it look a little more uniform. So now I'm switching over to my trimmers. In this case, I am using the Babyliss trimmers and these are the new ones. They're the influencer ones. I actually really like them. The blade, um, it's a little thinner than the regular one, but it definitely hits. All I had to do was zero gap it and they were great after that. But um, like I said, for the fade, I am gonna try to keep the, uh, the fade to end up where the occipital bone is. So once I get towards the back, I'm gonna make sure that I'm dropping it. And when I'm using my trimmers right here, when I'm knocking down all the bulk, I wanna make sure that I'm trimming everything nice and even because that's gonna make my life a lot easier once I go in with the shaver. So now for the shaver, I'm using my Andis Profoil Shaver. To me, this one is the very best shaver that you guys could purchase. It's just super strong and it hardly ever breaks. So this is my shaver of choice. And yeah, I'm just going up, not really touching the top line, just kind of keeping it about a quarter of an inch below the top line. So, um, so yeah. So now for the fade to go ahead and set in my first guideline, I'm going to be using the no guard with the lever all the way open and I'm going to be flicking up about an inch. Now to start working out the bottom line, I have my lever all the way closed and flicking up about quarter of an inch up. Now here I went ahead and opened my lever halfway and then continuing to blend that bottom line, knocking it up another quarter of an inch, we're going to start to blend it out.
Now for the next step, I went ahead and attached my number one guard. And once again, starting with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new guideline by going up another inch. So now to blend out the bottom line, I'm going to be using the half guard starting with the lever all the way open and this time we're going to go ahead and start to down fade starting from the very top all the way to the bottom. So now we're, where I'm flicking is a little bit underneath where I had set my number one guard with the lever all the way open since the half guard all the way open is a little bit shorter than the one guard all the way open. So anytime I'm closing the lever, I'm going to make sure that I'm staying underneath my previous set. So now for the lever all the way closed, I feel like I didn't even have to do this. It's kind of all just doing real detailed work right here. Any, any little dark spot that I see, I'm going to try to knock it out by using the corners. Now the back of the fade is always the most challenging for me in my opinion. I don't know if you guys have the same issue but I always find myself taking a little bit extra time working out the back area. Now here I have the number two guard once again with the lever all the way open and I'm kind of just going in just to refresh exactly where I had already previously left the number two guard open. So I'm not really going too much in and taking off too much hair. So now I have my number one and a half guard starting with the lever all the way open and that middle line that you guys see right there, that's going to be my next thing to go ahead and uh, to go ahead and blend out. So, so if the lever all the way open doesn't fully get rid of the bottom line, that means I'm going to have to close it and if that doesn't get rid of the line, I'm going to attach my number one guard. So I'm going to continue to play with the guards and with the lever until I'm really satisfied with the fade. So in the back area I noticed my client does have a lot of weight right there that needs to be blended out. So I'm going to be grabbing vertical sections and I'm going to find my guideline which was the number two guard all the way open and I'm going to start to blend that in to the top. Now that the back is blended in, now it's time to go ahead and section off the side to start to blend in the fade to the top. Now for this part, the way I like to section it out is I like to start off in the corner of his lineup and kind of make a diagonal section to like the middle of his head 
and by doing that it's going to allow me to not cut the front area at all because I want to maintain that length. So now what I'm going to do is start to grab horizontal sections right there on the side and little by little I'm going to start to blend in the, t the side to the top. Man and I know it's a little hard to see right now but uh, once I show the other side it's going to be a little bit easier for you guys to see more clearly. So now on this side we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we did on the previous side to fully blend it in. So now once I'm on the front area, I want to make sure that it, his hair is not too long but not too short. I, I like to leave it like at a medium length, that way it's still good enough to go ahead and apply enough texture and not so long to where it's super heavy and I can't really apply a lot of volume to it. So once I found my guide, I'm going to follow that guide all the way to the back and kind of start to blend in the middle to the sides. So now to apply texture, I always like to start off in the back area. Um, I don't know, it just finds grabbing each section a lot easier and it makes it to where I know exactly what I already textured in the first place. So now another way I like to apply texture on the top is I like to run my shears diagonally throughout the entire top and when I'm doing this I'm making sure that I'm not taking a lot of the chunk off on top because the last thing you want is a bald spot on top so I'm just really just lighting the shears on top. So now here at this point I'm going to be using my blow dryer to go ahead and style the top and I'm not using no comb or anything I'm just using I'm just going straight in with my hand because I mean the whole point of this haircut is to make it look real messy and real textured so there's no real point on using any type of comb or diffuser on the blow dryer. The only real time I use a diffuser or a comb or a brush on a textured haircut is when I'm working on the calic area in the back. That, that part in the back I usually like to uh, lay it straight down so 
that point, I would bring out a brush or a diffuser. So now that I know that his hair is completely dry on top, I'm gonna be using some product on his hair. And the product that I'm using is Sexy Hair Texture Powder. You guys can find it on Amazon. The link will be in the description down below. Um, but when I apply this, I'm making sure that I'm putting it directly into, all the way into the roots and kind of just working my hand through, uh, through his hair and just styling his hair once again. So now for his lineup, I really don't have to go too crazy with this since my client already has a nice lineup to begin with. I'm just going to be going in and trimming down all those long hairs that don't necessarily like to style or don't want to style. So yeah, I'm going to just go in and clean that up. But you guys know that this is my favorite haircut to do at the moment, but I want to know what your guys' favorite haircut to do is. So leave a comment down below because I'd like to hear what your guys' favorite is. So now here's a little reminder on how my client walked in. And as you guys can see, he did need a haircut desperately. He hadn't got cut in a while. So you know I had to hook him up. And this is the after. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Also leave your guys' feedback in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you guys watching, staying tuned till the very end, and just always showing the support. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.